Hello my friends, welcome to the new video and today is actually a very interesting day my friend. Today I have here the new Rolex Oyster Perpetual 41 millimeters in yellow dial my friend. So we really have a lot to talk about this beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, is, these watches used to be the watches that used to find the showcase. It was really easy to get a hold of and nowadays uh, the Oyster Perpetuals they are basically one of the most affordable watches from Rolex are actually the pieces that you cannot find anymore and to my personal opinion we more likely we're not going to be able to see these watches too much in the near future so let's see what's going to happen in, in you know in the few years or days ahead hopefully everything is going to change but as the market is going right now and it's, it really continue to go up or continue this high but it is right now i don't think we're going to be able to see more watches in the showcase in the near future so uh, i think that's really uh, really it it, it, that's really whatever I have to tell you guys besides a uh, quick reminder to join the discord group we have the links below don't forget to join the community uh, we also have the new Airbnb um, of course location for uh, the official location for the watch club so please feel free to check it out the links are going to be in the description of the video and let's take a look at this beautiful Rolex Oyster Perpetual with yellow dial Okay, my friends, so now it's time to take this beautiful watch out of the box. And I'm just going to start my video a little bit different because there's a little bit of uh, people right now here in the in the store. Since, you know, we all know the, the bridge, it's already open. I mean, we're at the border with Mexico. We have seen a lot of people coming in already, you know, more cars, a lot of traffic. Uh, you know, the city is already awake. It's not like it used to be about a year ago, right? But anyways, you, you guys already know I can help you with Cordier, I can help you with Hublot, I can help you with Talk Hoyer, Mont Blanc, Diamonds. We really have a lot of stuff here in the store. So please let me know what are you looking for and hopefully I can help you build your collection, right? Or find whatever your jewelry needs are at, at this point. So the Rolex Oyster Perpetual in 41 millimeters and yellow down, my friends. Very, very nice looking piece, to be honest. Um, I really thought I was not going to like this watch, but now I have it here now, you know, like I've seen it in person. It's a really, really nice yellow. It's kind of like a, I will say like a banana yellow or something. It's very bright. It's very cool. And I think this is one of the rare, rarest, sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right, but one of the hardest pieces to find in the Rolex Oyster Perpetual. Um, you know, I was, I was talking with some of my friends and we all thought the green dial was going to be the most wanted watch from the Oyster Perpetual models so uh, we have seen a lot of orders coming in not coming in you know placing a lot of orders when the watches basically came out we thought we were going to be easier to you know uh, to give it to the customers so we invited a few of the customers and they decided to come and place order for the new watches that was going to be released but of course we haven't even received a lot of the pieces that uh, play we played the orders that we placed uh, a year ago so uh, if you ask me personally, when all this pandemic started, we were not really counting in all this stuff that was going to be happening, in, you know, within the, I would say, the economy, uh, the hype of the watches, the, the shortage of, of cars and chips and watches and all that stuff. So if you ask me personally, it's just like any other business. If you have a certain amount of, of cars that you have to sell, and they usually give you, I, I don't know, maybe let's, let's put a, a number out there. Let's say you're, gonna, you're going to receive only 100 cars, uh, but you can order any car you want in, in a way, right? Because of course there's a lot of restrictions and limit, you know, limitations with the brand. So uh, I guess that's one of the main reasons uh, we're not going to be seeing these watches uh, in the near future is because the hype is too much for any other model that of course uh it's you know it's more likely to to see that you're going to be i don't know how to explain it but of course um it, there's too much hype there's too much demand in these watches in practically in any model from rolex or so mariners or, or gmt's uh, pandas or whatever you want to call it so if you have a more profit margin by selling a let's say a full package mazda than selling a very basic package of a Mazda. So if you can order 100 Mazdas to sell them, of course, you're more likely going to be ordering or getting 
you know, trying to get a hold of the full package that you have a little bit more of a profit margin. I mean, that's practically in any other business. I think it's one of the main reasons, but to me, my friends, just to give you a, a quick update and putting out there, these are all my thoughts. These are all just my experience. And I think this is one of the main reasons we don't, we haven't seen a lot of Oyster Perpetuals in the showcase besides, of course, they're produced by hand. They're very hard to you pr pr produce. You know, it's not easy to have a watch like this uh, shipped out to any store. So that's one of the main reasons. I think it's one of the main reasons we haven't seen these Oyster Perpetuals in the showcase and more likely we're not going to be able to see them in the near future. So just to give you a quick recap of what I'd say, because probably I was a little, I mean, you know, I was, uh, you know, well, was a little confused of, about what I was saying is basically you have more profit margin of getting other type of watches than getting an Oyster Perpetual. So more likely people are getting to be putting more pressure in getting other pieces that of course are more expensive and more profit margin like any other business. But like I say, these are just my thoughts. This is not something that it's really, uh, you know, it's not a fact, but I think it's one of the, uh, one of the reasons that we have seen this situation with Oyster Perpetuals. But going back to the watch, because I know I, I talk about a lot about this particular model. Um, this is practically a 41 millimeter, very basic model. Um, Oyster steel, of course, sapphire crystal. And if I'm not mistaken, these watches also have the 70 hour power reserve. I'm gonna put it on the description. Uh, but of course, I just wanted to give you guys a closer look to this model because I know it's a very hard piece to find and more likely majority of the people haven't been able to see these pieces, uh, you know, uh, in, in their hands. So my point, my job here is giving you guys this access so you can have a look at these beautiful watches and you might be able to, uh, you know, make a better decision of your purchase that you're trying to do because that's majority of the people who watch these videos is people who are trying to buy watches and you're just giving you know watching reviews to see uh you know trying to answer some of their questions so if you have any question i would really appreciate for you guys to let me know put it on the you know put it in the comments tell me what's your question tell me what do you want to know and hopefully we can all learn together so that's the point of the channel i mean i'm not going to go too much deep into the descriptions and the, the mechanisms and all that stuff because to me, like I say, it is for you guys to give you access of watches that you might not be able to see in person uh, for, for maybe, um, you know, in the near future. So hopefully we all as people like buyers and sellers, we can have these watches because of course we have, we want to sell and you guys want to buy. So we all want watches in the showcase. And one thing I'm sure and one thing I do know about is that, you know, once we speak with one of the Rolex guys, it's like they are, they are really trying their best, my friends, to produce more watches because we actually receive, we are actually receiving much more watches than the year before and the year before and the year before. So we are receiving more watches, they are producing more watches and they're really trying to cut up with the demand, but I don't think this is going to happen because of course Rolex will never, never, never is going to compromise the quality of their product to mass produce more pieces. So that's one of the main reasons, and I think that's practically everything I have to say about this beautiful Oyster Perpetual in yellow dial. Beautiful watch, 41 millimeters, very cool. It's very fashionable. You can wear it with everything. And of course, a lot of collectors are trying to get all of these colors so they can have them in their collection. But of course, it's going to be hard. So if you really have them, congratulations. You're a lucky person and enjoy the pieces. Take care of them, and of course, try not to to sell it unless it's just basically what you have to do. I mean, I'm not encouraging you are your pieces. You can do whatever you want, but I just don't encourage the gray market at this point because of course I know my place in the market. I have to sell new watches and that's the way it is, my friends. But basically I'm very honest. I'm very transparent. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please tell me what you want to know and hopefully I can answer your questions. And at the end of the day, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate the support. It's really, really, appreciate it so give us a like subscribe to my youtube channel it's free and it's going to help us a lot so thank you very much for watching and see you next video